and I can't believe I have had the restraint to hold off this long talking about this one subject in particular, but Mark M. F. Henry. I have been singing his praises since 2011. And I believe that people are just, uh, some people, because some of us had seen it already, but on Monday Night Raw, he was in the spotlight. That was his time to shine. And boy, did he shine. That promo, so believable. He comes out amid these rumors about his retirement. And he comes out and he's getting everyone to believe that he's retired. And John Cena, he was standing on the ring apron with the WWE Championship and everything. And Mark Henry is in the ring uh, looking like a bottle of Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> And he, he, he's I crying. I caught that reference there. He's crying, and he's he, he's just giving the performance of his Oscar. life. Oscar-worthy stuff right there. And he's talking about how he's going to retire, and he's thanking his family and all of that. And John Cena gets in the ring, hands him the WWE Championship, because as JBL pointed out, that's the only championship that Mark Henry hadn't won and i wish that he wouldn't have said that i really do i i i, I felt as if that could have waited or maybe yeah. i don't i don't know maybe not because it did put things into perspective it did explain why john cena was getting in the ring and handing him the wwe championship but well even if he hadn't have won it, it it's just a nice gesture that people do yeah so he's hoisting the championship in the air he turns around, looks back at John Cena within a split second, grabs his ass, world's strongest slam, Dude. and the arena erupted. One of my erupted. favorite. One of my favorite promos of all time. Up there with the Austin 316, the one, the, the, the Rock in Toronto, Canada after WrestleMania 19. Um, the Rock imitating Stone Cold and everybody else, the five wrestlers he did for the Armageddon pay-per-view. Man, one of my favorite promos of all time. Mark freaking Henry. He is the man. And I like what he said. I still got some gas left in the tank, man. I really hope so. And then I what wish... did he say about the WWE Championship? That'll be oh, mine that's going to be soon. mine, yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> the way he said it, too. <laughs> Mark is... Henry is, I won't even say gold. He's diamond Flat. in moments like that. He's like, he's some type of substance you can't even find on earth. And those unscripted moments where he doesn't even have a mic in his hands, he's just yelling. Like, he said something like, if I charge for air, you better make sure you pay Dude, your that bill. that was my Xbox Live motto. <laughs> it's so many moments like that. that he's the best off script like wrestler like whenever he's in the ring talking he's like the best yeah. one mm -hmm. not it's not even close and it's so rare for us to get big guys in wrestling that are even competent on the mic like asking for a big guy to be competent that's probably asking too much but to get a big guy who's actually good on the mic great on the mic mark henry he is it and he's believable as a heel, he looks terrifying. That is the monster heel that Ryback wishes he could be. Like that, I, I look at Mark Henry as the guy that Ryback wanted to be in his feud with John Cena. And speaking of that, hell, Mark Henry should have been getting his shot at the WWE Championship. Yeah, that made, then, made sense. That would have made sense, but it came here. And even though I posted a tweet about it. I, because uh, before Mark Henry came out, um, all of the rumors about his retirement, I said, and I quote, I'm hoping Mark Henry doesn't retire, retire yet. I can honestly see him being top heel and next WWE champion. In my mind, I was like, Mark Henry is that damn good to get to the WWE championship. But I did not see it happening. And the fact that <clears throat> instead of announcing his retirement, he announces that he's going for the wwe championship he's calling out john cena oh Man. my god it's sad this is probably going to be a filler 
I because hope, I, I seriously hope not. Daniel Bryan is going to fight him at SummerSlam more than likely, especially especially after the promo he did last night. I just he's just too over to not have that match happen. But still, I want Mark Henry to be the champion. He's just so amazing. Why, Daniel Bryan? Why did you choose to be so amazing at this point? Like, oh, now damn oh, you WWE for having multiple guys that are capable of winning a WWE yeah, championship. Man. Oh, God, this is so hard. This is why guys like Rowdy Roddy Piper couldn't win the championship. There's just so many good people. Oh, my God. You uh, know what? I, I'll say, um, Daniel Bryan, maybe it won't happen now. Maybe it won't happen in six months. But the fact is, you have years to go in WWE. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. give it. <laughs> let Mark get it. Because he's nearing the end of his career, but at the very same time, he's looking the best that he ever has. And for this to be happening in the stage of his career where it's believable that you could possibly be retiring, because that was so jarring to me when he mentioned that he was a seasoned veteran when John Cena debuted. Yep. Do you and it's true. do you understand how <laughs> how John Cena has been in WWE what? 10 years and Mark Henry was a seasoned veteran 10 years ago and he's now in the peak of his career that's so crazy well John Cena is kind of exiting his prime but I, 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 I digress <laughs> one thing that I want to hear from Mark Henry though I think that should, they should play into his um status as the world's strongest man and him being in the strong man competitions and him doing the whole bench press thing and pulling the uh 18 wheeler say something like i've broken records and i'm gonna break at, you exactly and at money in the bank john cena i'm gonna break you i want to hear him say something like that like oh my god mark henry is the fucking man he truly is. A brother, too, man. We don't get too many African-American stars, man, we can look up to. Man. This is, this is, man, he's a great superstar, man. And you know what? It's not like his matches are unwatchable. Usually with a guy his size, you'd expect him to be like Kali. But he's been in some pretty good matches. CM Punk on Raw, that was a nice one. Sheamus. Yeah. He's been in um, uh, Big Show at Vengeance when yeah. they uh, collapsed the ring. And that was a good match even before they collapsed yeah. the ring. The one at Money in the Bank, I like that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he's 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 an all around package, man. And you know what? I have to agree. I'm a Ryback fan, but Ryback wished that he could be Mark Henry in that feud. You know, this Mark Henry's great, man. Why did he have to get so good? No, he probably was always as good. They just didn't care about him. Just never got the chance. Yeah, that's why it's hard to predict. When people say who's going to be the next guy, the guy in WWE, it's hard to predict it because you never know what kind of talent someone possesses until they get a chance. And a lot of people, they never get that chance. Who would who would know who would have unseated John Cena or maybe even stopped John Cena before he could even really get started if someone had got a chance before he did? You never know stuff like that. Rocky Maivia, I would have never known he'd be a box office. He made a billion dollars at the box office. All his movies combined, million dollars, billion dollars, man. One of the stunning, biggest movie stars on the friggin' planet. Uh, stunning Steve Austin, the, one of the greatest wrestlers to ever live. Uh, Hulk Hogan, before his Hulkster days, I wouldn't have thought that he would have been a legend. Man, guys like, uh, let's see, who else? Um, even Triple H, probably the best example, the poster boy for this argument. Hunter Hearst Helmsley? Oh, my God. Hunter Hearst Helmsley? <laughs> and now he's about to own the company. It's like that nerd that was always picked on in high school, and then when you see him 20 years later, he's got the hottest supermodel in the world. Driving a BMW. Yeah. I hope that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say, yeah, that's going to be me. <laughs> I hope that's me. I deserve it. <laughs> After all this crap, yeah. but yeah. Anyway, um, I, I can't stop singing Mark Henry's praises. Great wrestler. He's a man, and I, 
I'm going to be on the edge of my seat during this I, match. I, I know what's going to happen. You, I can't get my hopes up anymore. My I heart. Don't even, I don't even. I it, with this being money in the bank. But you know, money in the bank. But yeah, he can win, and then Daniel Bryan cashes in on him, or maybe if somebody else cashes in, you know. Theoretically, he better get a run with the fucking championship. It's not going to happen. It's just, well, I'm not going to say it because I didn't think what happened with Ziggler would happen. So I don't know. But John Cena, yeah, this, I, I don't see him at this point in his career. I don't think he should have like more than a four month reign. His body isn't, it can't do that anymore. He doesn't even look, it's, I don't know if I'm the only one. He doesn't even look as strong as he used to be for some reason. He looks like he struggles, especially with Kane. There, he was at a press conference where he was feuding with Kane, and he picked up Kane, and Eli was like, "Oh, you know," he was screaming. Whereas back then, he could pick up Big Show no problem. Just getting old. He even mentioned in an interview he can't even really squat like he used to. He's like thirty-seven now. Is he that old? Yeah, I think so. He's like 37, 36 maybe. Let me check it out. He's getting up there. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Yeah. Man. Randy Orton's 33 now, too. But I would never know. I mean, he's wrestling good. But John Cena, I can see him major. If he, didn't, if, he, if he had a beard, yeah, you could tell. Yeah, he's getting old. What else do we have to discuss for Monday Night Raw? Speaking of beard, Daniel Bryan needs to shave that thing. He, you turn him upside down you cl- and get, get a batch of pine so you clean the whole arena. <laughs> that boy look like a mop. 